Hey everybody, I'm out here today at Mom's and Daughter um, Garden and we're visiting mother and daughter. Her mother is down the street and this is her daughter live here right down the street from her and I'm excited to be here. I'm doing an update on her garden and if y'all recall maybe two months ago, maybe two was it about two months ago? Yes. About two months ago. Well, where maybe three. About three. Where everything was real little, you really didn't see too much because it was small so now look at it she been picking cherry tomatoes right yes and she have grown right here is potatoes organic potatoes organic potatoes and you will be picking these when one day next week we're gonna dump the pot and see what our treasures is okay it's like a present like on the christmas tree but yes. it's in the garden so she will be doing this next week. I think she have two of these, and here she have pepper plants. So this is bear pepper, bear pepper and this is all these bear peppers, right? Yes. So all these are bear peppers, types. and one of them is red. But it's a this a pepper plant, and it's okay. a bear pepper plant. Uh -huh. So this is her other potato plant that she be picking soon, and this is her cherry tomato. We got to prune in it because there's no, it's that time of the year, it's hot, it's humid, and we're getting uh, the blight. So, kind of cut it back and uh, tied it up against her um, a porch so she can get some more tomatoes. And here, also another flower just to bring in the pollinator. And she has some delicious looking kale. So, y'all. If Tracy can do it, anybody can do it. Grow your own food, okay. own in your pot, in your yard. You can do it in the air. I mean, hang your pots upside down and grow it upside down without being in the ground. And hydroponics, air, uh, tall punics, whatever you want to grow your food, grow your food. Everything we do here down in the south so far. Tracy, her mom and I, organic, yeah. and you know, we fight with the bugs and stuff, and we still learning. I am still learning, but I'm actually absolutely excited to be here to show you all her garden. I told her don't get discouraged of some of her stuff that died, just replant. A couple of her squash, you know, the vine borers got a hold to it, so I told her to dump that pot out because you don't know that the little lava went back into the soil so we just get rid of that pot and freshen the other pots and put some cucumbers maybe in it yes. another squash another squash and we keep going on from there anything you want to say I want to say thank you for coming and checking out everything because all of this is just like I'm gonna do a project and I'm just gonna see what grows and I was totally amazed shocked and surprised and I'm loving it okay then y'all see it's not that hard to grow your own food just get out there and give it a try if you have to do it in pots or you have to do it in the ground or if you have to do it in water whatever you want to do go ahead and try to grow that food you'll be amazed how I feel to come out here and harvest your own food knowing that you grow this yourself and it was all seed yeah it's so amazing that's like really cool and you taking it straight to your kitchen cooking it yes. and eating it yes. come on y'all tell me that ain't amazing awesome <laughs> from her yard to yours i'm pat smith and tracy thanks you so very much and we out of here bye bye, -bye.